Well, Andrew, a very warm welcome to 2023. Happy New Year. We're well into it now, of course. And gosh, a bit of a bombshell last week. Yeah, um, I was kind of thinking oh, it'd be another quite cruisy week before things build up again. Um, but then, yeah, I got a text message while I was busy cleaning up the, um, the workshop and, um, yeah, phone started ringing. So, yeah, a bit unexpected, but there we are. Now, one of your quotes is that uh, you think the, the, the agriculture sector has lost a friend with the resignation of Jacinda Ardern. Yeah, I didn't quite use that wording, but <laughs> um, that was the headline, I guess, to prompt clicks. Um, but it was more along the, I guess, on the lines of, you know, whilst there are a whole butt range of policies that are absolutely frustrating for farmers and we're quite upset about, um, in that sort of spectrum of the cabinet, um, if we were to, the PM was more likely to try and help us out in terms of uh, pushing back on it or, or dampening down a few things or not going quite as far than some of the other in cabinet were. So, um, end of the day, she's in, she was in charge of a government that still put all this stuff forward, so not exactly that friendly, but <laughs> in terms of, of modifying it um she was at least approachable and was listening to us and on a few occasions was able to push back on a few things so mm. what we don't know coming going forward is you know will chris hipkins be of similar or mm. um will he be happy to just to roll with whatever his ministers um put forward so I guess with a new Prime Minister, it does give them a, a, an opportunity to make changes with the election in mind. Yeah, yeah, and it's a, a good excuse. Whenever you're new in a role, um, you know, you can always blame blame everything on the previous person, um, <laughs> make changes, and it was all their fault, and um, you're doing this new thing. Um, mm. So, look, they, they do have an opportunity to, you know, pull back on a few things. Um, personally, I guess our main one we'd like to see them pull back on is the changes to the Resource Management Act. So the what's now going to be called the MBA, which isn't National Basketball Association, it's National Natural Built and Environment Act, um, and the uh, Spatial Planning Act that goes with it. Those are the replacements for the RMA. We think they're actually, you know, what's for. 20 odd years we've been calling for changes to the RMA um, kind of like not these changes Have you had any dealings with Chris Hipkins? Me personally no um, but so because his portfolios haven't really been in anything I've been involved in the education so mm. Wayne Langford uh, with his role um, on some of the education stuff and with primary ITO has met with him um, and I think uh, we have had some dealings with Carmel Cipollone um, through our Get Kiwis On Farm program, mm -hmm. which was part of, um, uh, was done in conjunction with the Ministry for Social Development. So, mm -hmm. not really, yeah, so slight interactions, but not on the big issues, sort of um, mm -hmm. side, not side issues, but they're, they're not the main ones that we're sort of focused on. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I guess time will. Time will tell on where they sit on on those more critical sort of issues that are right in farmers' faces right now. And just remind me, where are we at with Hewaka Ekanoa in this new year? Oh, uh, good question. Yeah, um, because <laughs> yeah, the ex ex expectation was at the end of last year that that was going to be one of the things they took a breather on. Um, the PM had sort of signalled that they were looking at taking a few things off the agenda and that it possibly it was one of the ones that may, you know, get introduced to Parliament but not passed before the election. Well, who knows? We'll wait and see. But it, it could well be that, um, you know, I don't know what deals have been done in the background for uh, Chris Hopkins to go through unchallenged. But, it, you know, mm. it could well be that there might have been some pet projects that were... Um, green lighted for under urgency to be pushed through so whether he walker would be one of them or not i don't know but yeah we'll wait and see my, my sort of um predictions from the end of last year probably may not hold true now i don't know <laughs>